Uh, hi guys, uh, welcome to Test Freaks. I've got the Droid Eris from Verizon Wireless. Uh, and let me just start this review off with, um, this is probably the first phone that I've, I've learned to hate. I'm extremely frustrated with it. Uh, I was expecting something different. Uh, the Motorola Droid that I reviewed last time from Verizon uh, is a much superior device um, <clears throat> than this Droid Eris. Uh, it's just a very frustrating phone. It never seems to do what I want it to do. Uh, there we go. Uh, it pops up, stuff pops up all the time, asking you to do this, do that. You know what? I don't want any of that stuff. I just want to, you know, use my phone. I want to make phone calls. Uh, <laughs> it's just a frustrating phone. I, I, I can't stand it, honestly. Uh, it's one of them ones where I'm happy to give back, <laughs> which I will. But uh, here's the interface. There is a little little wheel at the bottom or oh, a trackball actually uh, it goes right and left you can change all your stuff here nice bluetooth uh wi-fi settings wi-fi wi-fi whatever you want to call it don't correct me anyway here is <laughs> here's the interface um scroll up and down but there's nothing there but you can scroll right and left for all your text messages and stuff like that uh if you hit the menu button does pop up programs, scenes, uh, notifications, wallpaper. You can change all that stuff. Go back to the menu. We hit the little arrow up button. Pops up all of our programs. It does come with uh, several programs. Uh, the phone. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Another thing I don't like about this is the keyboard. I hate it. I'm always hitting the wrong. I was always hitting the wrong keys, the wrong numbers, the wrong letters, uh, everything. It just it does not seem finger friendly at all. Um. Call quality on this phone, uh, it's not that bad, but for the first time in my life, um, I've been on AT&T for uh, years now, and you know I'm happy with them because you know I can get a phone call uh, in my house. Uh, two other services, providers I tried before, I couldn't get a phone call in my house. I I've never tried Verizon though, and they seem to be okay there, but as you can see if you look close here, I do have only one bar. Uh, for my signal and I just hopped up the two But anyway back to my point here um, I kind of had a you know an important phone call to make um, and, when, and what I do for my reviews when I review these phones I Forward them from my phone all my calls get forwarded from my AT&T phone over to any other phone that I'm reviewing Like this one here uh, Luckily, I was home at the time when I had to make you know make my phone calls. Uh, it was kind of important you know, We were stuck in a situation, but what happened was I got all circuits busy I tried to call, I had to call my son's daycare because I had to pick him up early because one of my other children got sick, uh, etc, etc, uh, last week. But I actually got all circuits busy on the Verizon uh, wireless network. I, mean, I, ca I called three times, at three different times, and it kept telling me all circuits were busy. Now, I picked up my AT&T phone, and the call went right through the first time with no issues at all. I've never experienced an all circuits busy before, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But anyway, um, this phone, I, I don't know. Like I said, I, I'm just not happy with it at all. It's not one that I could recommend to anybody. Maybe it's my experience. Maybe it's this phone. It's slow. It just does not seem responsive. Um, I might seem hard on it, but it's my honest opinion. I've been using it for a couple weeks now as my main phone. And personally, I don't like it. As I said, it's a very, very frustrating phone. Uh, it does come with, uh, you know, several things. There is one little uh, rather cool game that I spent quite a bit of time playing. Uh, Teeter, you move a little uh, marble around with the uh, motion sensor of the phone, which, which does work well. Uh, as you can see, you know, all kind of stuff that comes with it. Uh, wireless, um, networking, uh, browsing the internet, and, you know, it seems fine. It, you know, worked rather slow. But, you know, what do you expect? It's 3G. Uh, Bluetooth was fine. Um, I hooked my jawbone up to it. No problems at all. Uh, connecting to it each and every time. Uh, but other than that, though, um, I don't like this phone. And I can't wait for it to go away. Uh, so, <laughs> read on.